after years of domination of the PC market by contenders like Apple, Windows and Linux, Remix OS is here to change the game once and for all. Now before we start this video, the first question that probably you want to ask is, what is Remix OS and who is it for? Now Remix OS is for the people who want to live free of all the dependencies that different computing platforms impose on us. It is for the people who work on the go, produce content, develop stuff while they're traveling or maybe even when they don't have their machines. The beauty of Remix OS is that you can carry your whole working environment, all your essential data and the power of portability on a small USB drive. You can boot up your Remix OS effortlessly on anyone's computer and work in an environment that you're already familiar with. And the best part of all this is with all this time, these things are only going to get better. So one day, Remix OS will probably stand in a place where the Windows and the Macintosh stand today in terms of reliability. Remix OS is completely Android. It's got its roots from the very same Android that you use on your smartphones. And there are millions of apps that you can download from the Play Store and do everything you want to do from creating videos to productive stuff like editing your Excel spreadsheets, creating new documents and all that stuff. Now the first thing that you need to do is head to the Remix OS website and you have to download the Remix OS build for your PC. Just click on the free download link. Here is your website. You can also check it out if you want. And there's a lot more stuff that you can learn. Join the forums and the blog. Now here's the download link. Just click on I am a developer and you can start with downloading the Remix OS for PC package. I'm just going to download it. And for the Remix OS, I'd recommend you to use a USB 3.0 flash drive with at least 8 GB of space so that you can smoothly work on your Remix OS. There's one more thing. Now, if you don't already have a USB 3.0 flash drive, then please consider buying it from the links in the description below. I have noted down the best USB 3.0 drives for you. It supports the channel and helps me in making videos like these. Now, there's a thing to note. If you're very, very serious about doing all this, then I'll probably recommend you to buy an SSD rather than buying a USB 3.0 pen drive or booting it with your hard drive. Now, I have downloaded an archive that I'm gonna be extracting in the folder. Now you can see I have extracted and there are three files. One is the text document, let's see. It has a table of contents, MD5 verification, the basic requirements that you're gonna need. You can read it if you want, it will probably have all your answers. Now, insert your pen drive into the computer and right click on this and run the Remix OS USB tool as an administrator. You'll need to give it permissions to work properly. Now I'm gonna browse the ISO file that I have placed in the folder that I just extracted. Here is the Remix OS for PC. I'm just going to click on this and open it. Now select the, your USB drive. There's only one drive plugin right now. So I'll be selecting that and pressing OK. The process will take some time. That's it. Now I'm just going to exit right now. Or you can even reboot if you want. There's not much difference. So I'm just going to shut down. And my system is shutting down. Now there's one thing to keep in mind. Now generally the laptops and the desktops these days feature an EFI and a legacy, both the modes. But it does not matter, you can go to the settings and change the type of boot. I'll be pressing the F12 key, which works for me, and I can open the boot options. As you can see, there's the Windows Boot Manager, that's an EFI. All I need to do is go down and enter the setup so I can enter the legacy mode, and then boot all this. I'm just gonna go to boot and disable the EFI mode so I can work with the legacy mode. I'm just gonna disable it and change the boot type to legacy and F10 to save the settings. Yes. Now I'm gonna power up my machine. Now here is the booting screen for Remix OS. You'll be given a choice of two modes, the guest mode and the resident mode. In the guest mode, as it says in front of you, no data will be saved after each session. Although in resident mode, it will save every single thing you do and you can use it as a proper system to save all your data and do all the work that you need to do. And guest mode is just for casual browsing and all that stuff. I'm just gonna select my language. There are only three languages at the moment. Next. Set up your Wi-Fi. And uh, that's it. Now click on start. And that's it. You can see how it looks like. It has the feel of an Android, but it's still a little bit skinned by the Remix guys. 
It doesn't have the Google launcher, but it has what you would call the Jide or the Remix launcher. And it looks pretty good. Now, if you're just getting started, then I've made two more videos based on the Remix OS on how to install the Play services on Remix OS and how to install the WhatsApp if you don't know already how to do that. Now, as the Remix OS is new, it does not have the Play services right now. So you need to put some extra effort on installing the Play services and the WhatsApp from external links. You can watch my videos on how to do that and it will help you to get started. Now, if there's anything that you want to ask, then you can leave it in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions for what videos I should do next, or probably what you would want to see on the channel, then you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll be doing a video on how to install the Remix OS in VirtualBox and how to root the Remix OS. You can see the video soon. And if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit the like button. And while you're at it, why don't you go and hit the subscribe button? It only helps support the channel and you'll be getting all the notifications of all the videos I make in time, on time, every time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. This is Chronos Tech signing off. See ya!